Ludo here in Burundi. Beautiful landscape. It's about to rain. And let me explain to you what happened here with this well. So, first, you need to understand that we had a forest like this. Unfortunately, last time I came, I explained how to do swells and set up a schedule on how we were going to uh, work on the land. And this wasn't part of the plan. This was a forest. They cut down all the trees. You can see some of them in the back over there. And uh, remove all biomass and created massive swells. This is very big and this one here it starts let's say at zero and goes down to minus 70 centimeters over there. It's going downhill. So we had to fix this and this one here that I'm just next to is actually not placed in, a, in, a, in an area where we want it at all. Um, they just worked, tried to apply what they learned without thinking of designs. So, um, well, it was a, a good opportunity to understand how things are not working when you're not doing them properly. So, the repair, we have water coming down from the house is very very strong here and it started to feel the swell right you can see there's a lot of silt here bottom of the swell and all this all this is silt so here we have the washroom or we have the washroom and the swell was going all the way over there and we had a massive hole here so we filled this up so now we can walk around and we can see that people already are using this path here to go to the bottom of the to the the bottom of the property. This well is going to be removed after the rainy season, but because there is so much dirt, so much work into it, we thought okay, let's keep it. We're going to be planting grass on it. We're going to be planting beans to protect it and when the beans are done we're going to be doing sweet potatoes and then coming the dry season we're going to be putting it back and actually build it just above just over there so that's going to be one and the second one is going to be around where this line is without the 70 centimeters <laughs> down slope that we have at the moment so in order to keep water in this well, we created, with the rock that we had nearby, leaky weirs. So water would uh, stay in the swell at the level that we want. Let me go around at the level that we want. So this section is going to have its own level overflowing here. And then this section is going to have this level and so on and so forth until we extended the overflow into the forest because we can't make it go down here because everything is bare we would create a lot of erosion the previous overflow was way too small and was here so we added the berm and I don't know if you can see on the image here but just where it's going a little bit down slope here. There's a, like already 20, 25 centimeters uh, erosion pattern showing. So we stopped this and now we're extending, we extended this swell on contour with the level. The main reason why they, well, there was two reasons why uh, this mistake happened. They didn't caliber the uh, A-frame that they used and they don't have any experience. I was managing all the previous work and then they decided, okay, we're gonna go for 80 meters long swells 
without any experience, cut down the forest. Wasn't part of the plan, despite me saying, okay, stop this now. When I was from home, um, they didn't stop. And so here's the repair. Overflow here, nice and level. And then to make sure we don't have water going into here, we have, we use branches from the trees they cut and all throughout the forest, I don't know if you can see, we put on contour um, branches. So this is gonna slow down the water because it goes down pretty fast here. Let's say uh, eucalyptus with some type of grass, I don't know the name, but the only grass that can uh, grow here, they can feed the cows with it. I'm gonna walk down to the second swell and explain what happened and how we're gonna fix this one. So, let me just look at where I'm stepping so I don't fall over. Okay, so here we are. We have a uh, 70 centimeters downslope to here. And you can see here and the, uh, the swell completely um, was washed away because uh, you can't really see the signs anymore, but you could see a uh, deposit here. Right, this is the line where water went over the swell and the thousands of liters that were in there washed off the wall. So what we're gonna do here, we're on the bottom of the swell, so we're gonna be doing the same thing. We're gonna be doing walls. This time we're gonna be do using uh, earth bags. I'll show you later. We also planting grass and beans and from here, put a stake to this tree over there. We're gonna be bringing this dirt back up following the level of this rope. And then after that, between this tree and further down on solid ground, we're gonna be having the overflow. That's gonna be very nice. And again, we started here making sure we have a lot of branches on contour. So it's gonna slow down the water. We have on, on this side over there, down below, we have, um, I don't remember what they're growing, but there is uh, vegetables. So we want to keep the water as much as we can in the, in the wood here. And let's check out the end over there. It's starting to rain. I hope it's because sometimes it gets very strong very quickly. I hope I'll be able to finish this video without being completely soaked. All right, so banana grass on the berm, which we will move a little bit as well when we come back. And here we're building uh, Gabions, I'm gonna have to explain that small rocks on the bottom is not the best idea. Here they had the idea of covering uh, earth bags with rocks so they don't uh, uh, oui. get deteriorated by the, uh, the, the sun. We just need it for one, one uh, a around uh, six six months so that should be fine well added some dirt here it's gonna be beautiful and you can see how the wall is getting bigger and bigger here the wall is going to my hip when before it was just to my knee and so here we're nice and flat all level I checked everything and we will be able to hold much more water than this punched out downslope swell that we had before. So for people that don't really know, a small information here, never remove the topsoil when you do that because then you end up having a ton of silt in the hole that you just created. So we're gonna be planting grass, grasses along here as well so we can um, 
stop a little bit the flow of the water oh, yeah. and in between this well and the future one we will be planting a row of three neems and nitrogen fixers and then on either side we'll do some other vegetables and something on contour so we also slow down the water so this is we've got another four days here uh, this is the the job we're going to be doing as well as many other ones